So some news came up today that I wasn't expecting to see, but I'm not really all that surprised about, to be quite honest. But if you all remember last year, about a year ago, actually a little over a year ago, I did a couple of videos talking about how Giant Bomb was completely changing with three of the core members leaving. Uh, they ended up moving on to create Nextlander, which actually is a pretty good podcast, and they do fun streams and everything like that. Since then, Giant Bomb has become like a whole other thing where they've created all kinds of crazy shows and invited all kinds of other different guests onto the channel to do different types of shows, you know? It's become a completely different thing, where Giant Bomb used to be all about video games 24-7, 100% of the time. They became more of a, like, video games plus music plus other random things, which, totally fine, right? You know, things have to evolve and change and whatnot. Um, so, fast forward a year later, the main founder, at least one of the main founders of Giant Bomb, uh, the last remaining founder of Giant Bomb, I should say, Jeff Gersman is now leaving the site, which, as I said at the beginning of this, wasn't expecting to see that, but not really surprised by that whatsoever. So I have the Giant Bomb site pulled up right here uh, with the news post that they made earlier today on June 6th, and they let you know here, a lot is changing at Giant Bomb, and it starts today. Starting today, we want to enter a new era of transparency with you, the GB audience. So here's what you need to know. Giant Bomb and Jeff Gersman have agreed to go our separate ways, which when I read that earlier, I was like, that's a really weird way to phrase that. It almost feels very formal and, you know, maybe looking too deep into it because I don't want to be one of those, you know, internet conspiracy people, you know, people who looks too deep into this stuff. But the, I feel like they just could have worded that a little, a little bit more respectfully to the guy who, like, kind of created the site, right? Uh, saying we have agreed to go our separate ways almost sounds like someone asked him, hey, Jeff, you know, listen, I don't know if this is working out. And he was like, really? And they had to have a talk about it. Like I said, they might be looking too far into it. But to me, I'm like, I don't know. Uh, wouldn't it have been better to be like, hey, here's what you need to know. Uh, Jeff Gersman has decided to uh, leave Giant Bomb. You know, so something simple like that. So I don't know. It almost sounds like there's something deeper going on. I don't know. Supposedly, they're going to talk about it on the Bombcast this week. And honestly, I haven't talked, uh, I haven't listened to the Bombcast in quite some time because I'm not really a big fan of what the Bombcast has become. You know, I haven't talked about the site since last year when I kind of poured my heart out about what the site and the podcast used to mean to me at one point. Um, but I will say that over the past year, I will say is, you know, I'm not going to say it's bad. I'm not going to say I, you know, hate it or anything like that, but it's more like, it's just not for me anymore. It could be because of me. Maybe I've grown up. Maybe I just am not into what they're talking about. I feel like majority of the time, the things they talk about on the podcast, you know, besides gaming and stuff like that, I just don't really gel with. And quite honestly, I feel like the hosts on the show now don't have a whole lot of chemistry with each other. Maybe it's just me. I, I I listen and I'm just like, this conversation, the way everybody jokes around with each other feels very forced, where when the site got started and you had the original founding members, you could tell they were all friends and they all made jokes together, you know, and when they talked over each other, um, you know, it, it was ju just to get a funnier joke in or to, to you, you know what I mean? Like, it, it felt natural. It, it felt organic. And this giant bomb now to me feels very... Very forced and very not organic. Uh, anyway, tangent aside, uh, we're not going to gloss over this kind of heavy-hitting news. It's a big moment. Jeff is a co-founder of Giant Bomb and has been at the heart of the site since it's launched in 2008. Wow, it's been that long, hasn't it? Whether it's quick looks, live streams, or the Bombcast, you have consumed content that he had a hand in making. Jeff has shaped Giant Bomb in profound ways, and he has been a key part of bringing on board the voices that have defined the site through its different eras. To this day, Giant Bomb's influence on the way video games are covered on the internet is still as pervasive as ever, and Jeff remains inseparably attached to that legacy. But things change, life unfolds, priorities shift, and people come and go, and the same goes for Giant Bomb. And it's true, Giant Bomb has had a lot of people come and go over the years, it's true. Um, but, it, you know, it goes into other things, you know, the history of Giant Bomb, where it came from and everything and how, you know, it's, you know, what, what they're going to say, you know, change could be difficult to adjust to, but we're still building the bomb and blah, blah, blah. And they go into that. And they're even saying that, like, this isn't 2.0. This is just Giant Bomb, which I kind of disagree with, quite honestly. It definitely feels like a 2.0 because it feels like a completely different crew of people uh, with a completely different vibe, which, like I said, hey, if you listen to Giant Bomb or watch their videos out there and you enjoy it, 
hey, uh, I'm, I'm glad you do. I hope that you do. Uh, like I said, it's just not for me anymore. So as far as is Jeff leaving Giant Bomb, um, you know, I, I kind of touched on it a little bit, but I'm, I'm not really surprised that he's leaving, considering all the other guys left the the channel or the, or the site already, you know, to, to make Next Lander last year. And he kind of stuck around. You know, it, it was weird. It was, is he, you know, I, I talk about the chemistry on the podcast, and I, I feel like that, in, in my opinion, Jeff Gersman, uh, along with uh, Jeff Bacalar and the other people on the show, they, I, I feel like they just never really gelled well. The chemistry was just not there. Um, and, I, you know, I, I feel like, uh, you know, somebody like Jason, um, who has uh, been there quite, quite a bit, you know, of time as well, I feel like he just doesn't talk a whole lot anymore either on the show. And I, I, don't, I don't really know what's going on. It feels like the whole feel and vibe of the show has completely changed. And of course, that's going to happen when you, you know, have completely different crew of people on a show. You know, it's just going to be it's it's like taking a cast of your favorite TV show and then having them all die, die at the end of the season. And then season two starts and you, you got to start over. You know, it's like a Game of Thrones thing. Right. But um, I, I just feel like they never gelled well. And, and Jeff on the show always felt like, you know, he didn't seem like he was having fun. Let's just put it that way. And that could be for a number of reasons, right? It could be that he misses the guys, right? That could be number one. Number two, uh, the guy's a dad now. He's got two kids. And as a dad myself, you know, I got a two-year-old myself. I can definitely say that it is very difficult to really get into, uh, you know, <laughs> video games and care about things going on in an industry um, when you got family stuff going on quite honestly, it, it's really hard. Like, I don't know if, uh, all of you have noticed over the past two years, I mean, my, my content has kind of jumped around a bit and I, you know, I've taken long stretches of, of time off and, and abandoned other things and stuff like that, because you just get to a point where you just feel exhausted and you just don't have the mental capacity to talk about these things. It gets boring. Cause you're like, you know, right now I got to focus on yeah, at least for me. Cause I, I, this isn't my job, you know, doing this channel is not my job or anything like that. But at least for me, it's like, I got to focus on making money, you know, I got to focus on repairing something on the car this week. Um, you know, I got to focus on getting my son over to do this thing today on my lunch hour. Uh, you know, so it, and then make up that time, you know, that I wasn't at work later in the day. Uh, you know, we had to adjust to the pandemic the past two years. It, 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 you know, it has been not, not to go too deep into my own life, but it's been a very stressful couple of years. And I imagine in Jeff's case, it's probably the same. Um, but yeah, not not very surprised that he's leaving at all based on all of that like he just didn't seem like he was too into it and uh you know the the quick looks that i really really enjoy on the site you know where they take a look at video games and stuff they become fewer and fewer they actually pop up on the channel and most of the time jeff isn't even at least a lot of times i feel like jeff wasn't really even involved uh, involved with those things um and uh you know i i I guess the the real question at this point, though, is like, where is he going? I don't know. Maybe he'll talk about it on the podcast. I'm not sure. Maybe he just wants to be a dad and a family guy for a little while and kind of recollect and uh, get, you know, re-motivated. Maybe that's all there is to it. I will say that recently, Jeff Grubb, who is somebody else that they added a, a year ago to the show, whom I, actually I, I do like to listen to because he's a pretty smart guy and he, you know, uh, seems to have a lot of contacts with a, a lot of these rumors that pop up and everything in the, in the games industry. He's fun to listen to. I know that he recently left... Uh, his site because he was at games beat i think um and now jeff gersman's leaving so this all leads to maybe they're gonna start something together i don't know because when those two were on the show together i always felt like they had pretty good chemistry together you know the two jeffs or whatever um, but i don't know um you guys will have to tell me what you think in the comments because it, you know as i said last year in my giant bomb uh video that i did you know uh giant bomb is a near and dear thing to my heart. You know, they were something I listened to for a very long time and had a lot of fun listening to back in the day. Uh, very funny guys, uh, very funny crew altogether. Uh, they did some great videos, you know, quite honestly, I, I know, uh, you know, the, the, the YouTube influencers of today probably don't know any better, but like, man, they, they were the pioneers of like creating video content for video games and stuff. And it was super, super cool to kind of be in on the, you know, in the front row for that when it was happening and, and see where things have come. So it's been very cool. Uh, but regardless of whatever the reasons are, wherever, you know, Jeff is at in his head with, you know, giant bomb in regards to what he's going to do next and everything like that. All I can say is, Hey, you know, you're probably not going to watch this video, Jeff, but if you did, I just want to say good luck with everything. 
Uh, thanks for all the years at Giant Bomb and all the great entertainment. And, uh, you know, as usual, I look forward to seeing whatever you're going to do next. So, hey, everybody, uh, thanks for watching. Like I said, let me know what you think in the comments about uh, this this kind of big monumental change, you know, shift with uh, a, uh, a pioneering website for the video game industry here. And uh, otherwise, I'll see you all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.